Hey folks, welcome back to more of the 12 Days of Christmas with Masamune. And now we're ready for Samurai Warriors 4-2, which is a completely different game from 4, and totally worth the cost of being a full price game. It's also why, if you happen to be watching, the person who asked me repeatedly throughout several video series if I was ever going to play um, that Samurai Warriors Rise of the Sonata game, why I never played Samurai Warriors Rise of the Sonata. Feeling really ripped off by having bought this game is a big part of why I never bought Rise of the Sonata. Although it remains on my Amazon list as one of those things where if somebody else wants to buy it for me as a gift, I'll play it. It's none of your business what we're saying if you don't speak Japanese. It just isn't. I mean, yeah, we know you went out and bought a full price game, which is really just bonus missions on a game you already own, but, um. I mean, didn't Extreme Legends and stuff, weren't they used to, like, you were supposed to remix them with the previous game for better experience and they, they cost less than a full game price? Uh, maybe I'm crazy. But yeah, this adds a new character in the form of um, Neo Masa Lee or Neo Tora Lee or whatever. I don't remember which one's the sexy lady and which one's her nephew. But um, I think he's like the one new character. But he's all over the artwork for the game, obviously. So let's think here. We did four Legend of Tohoku missions plus... We did the Siege of Otawara Castle, plus we did the Osaka Campaign, plus we did the Handsomest Man Ever. So we were at seven days of Christmas, and this is day eight. So we need to get eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We need to get five missions out of this. But this story is all about individual characters and their stories. So... Lady Hayakawa has her own version of the story of the Hojo. We have a, the stories of the Shimazu told specifically from the perspective of Toyohisa, I suppose. It doesn't really work out the way they say it does. Like, the, the game publicity said, for the first time ever in the Samurai Warriors series, in Samurai Warriors 4, which is kind of so the first time ever in Samurai Warriors 4, they said you can play the story of an individual character instead of of a force, but really, this game is always two-player mode, or with either couch two-player, which would have been great with Bobo, except, you know, we're not living in the same city anymore, or, um, yeah, you're always switching back and forth between two characters, so it really is a weird thing to have for one but yeah, they, they do. They have individual characters who are supposed to be the center, like Takakage Kobayakawa, Kagakatsu Uesuge, and Kujiro Karakura. So, can we get five missions out of this? Because otherwise, we got to try to make something out of the uh, weird um, Okuni and Gomon usually represent goofy side missions. So side mission wise we have Lee Family Values, Test of Loyalty, which is about Nobuyuki's chest, I guess. Ninjas to the rescue. Married couples. Men of Charm. It's the sequel to that battle again about charming men in the last game. But it had even less to do with the Date than that one had, and it didn't have very much to do with him. Kanbei. Honoji. Hmm. Let's hope we've got five missions that we can do in um, Signs of Greatness. Kujuro Katakura serves as the cutting edge of the Date Spear. The story of his loyalty to his master, Masamune Date, is about to unfold. No, we actually have exactly five missions, so eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We have our twelve days of Christmas. Starting, well, not starting now, starting uh, several days ago. But we'll just use the Signs of Greatness uh, story mode to wrap up our 12 days. 
With Masamune's debut, the One-Eyed Dragon has risen. All of the strategic acumen at your disposal, use all the strategic acumen at your disposal to bring glory to your Lord's first campaign. And we'll play it on hard difficulty. We have a little squirrel. There's our loading thing. It's adorable, I'm sure. Oh, by the way, we're going to go back in time, because now we're at the beginning of the Date story again, just fighting a slightly different set of maps to tell the same story. Are you sure you don't want me to gouge out your left eye? That might, might encourage your right eye to get stronger. Yeah, this is pretty, um, it's a pretty big ask. It's a fairly significant ask. Pretty bloodless, though. I'm surprised you did that without drawing any blood. There's no... Oh, we're getting here and back. No, don't reference that song. You're insane. Kajiro, you're working for a crazy man. Wait, are you, why are you asking me about my opinion about the 1968 Chicago Bears now? Isn't that what do, do Tashimasta means? What do you think about the 1968 Chicago Bears? I don't know, I, I just picked 1968 at random. I have no idea what kind of year that was for the Bears. ダテ he was Masamune's advisor. He didn't work for Terramune at all. It's weird. It's a legend of Crowley's gold. Look at that picture of Lady, uh, what's her name, being shocked by Kai's bare shoulder in the bottom uh, right corner. Coming up next, Masamune's debut. Stay tuned for that, folks. So you... So it works a little different in this game. Everybody doesn't have the greatest weapon in the world, but I've got everyone with a decent weapon because I have them played off-screen with these guys. And uh, skills work very different, too. You buy skills on this screen... But there are things that you activate in battle uh, using a menu. You seem to use them a little bit in Samurai Warriors 4. So I don't bother with it that much here. You acquire strategy tomes, which you use to buy them. It really is an excuse to make you grind a whole bunch in the game. But I've acquired both of their epiphany skills, which gives you a character-specific skill and extend your abilities beyond their usual limits. And basically, more than anything else, the epiphany skills... Epiphany skills are just a skill that you can use with any character as long as you've unlocked it. So like, for example, if I uh, equip skills, mostly they're using epiphany skills from other characters. And yes, it is mostly the ladies. Um, I played, I played through as, uh, a bunch of the female characters for fun because a lot of the times the stories don't really involve you playing as anyone in particular. But, um... They have useful skills. Now, I could swap out attack and movement speed. Mostly they have skills that raise health and stuff. Of, or a lot of them have skills that, like... Trigger explosions, summon geysers, call for covering fire. They just, for a few seconds, shit appears on screen to damage your enemies. I could get rid of any of them and replace them. Gojiro has increased duration of special skills. 
and uh, Masamune is summon rifle unit, which is basically the same as what I've already got. And they both have something that makes gold appear. I think we're fine. So... The point of this battle now, like I said, we've traveled back in time. We're, we're starting the Masa, or the Date story over. This game actually starts a little earlier than the last game did, so Teramune is still alive. We have to keep him alive in this battle when we're fighting the Soma. So this is like a precursor to the battle where Papa gets killed. Let's do it. And we're up in the frozen north. Where it's frozen. So I saw that options thing and decided to switch to Masamune, but nothing seems to be happening. Later I picked up a strategy tome, so that's a thing. I've activated my gold thing where I'm my attacks have a chance of making enemies drop gold because I'm not completely out of space for money in this game. Take my flute, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. So I did this one off screen fairly recently to get used to the controls again. Uh, there is a... There is a mission that I consistently cannot get in this. Oh, we're fighting against Magoichi in this one, by the way, if you're interested. Yeah, the Date do love the Kurobaki ninjas. Southern Garrison is completely key. It's the center of everything. These guys are all powered up. So the course of wisdom is to kill this guy first. Then kill a bunch of them for some free gold. So we need to hurry up and get to um get to this camp. 
They don't want you to defeat him here. They want you to take him outside of here for some reason. That makes a huge difference. So let's do that. Let's see the gold really starting to pile up. There we go. And although I was worried for a minute that I'd knocked him back into the garrison, it still counted as uh, having lured him out. Bye, I say. Next phase, him not being able to fight. <gasps> Guns! That's usually how we fight. So we're trying to take out the gun booby trap here by using hyper attacks to move around faster than guys can shoot at me. There's some jerk officer following me around who is not actually related to this. Touching these, uh, I don't even know what they're called. There's a name for them, the big wooden uh, instructions that are meant to just like prevent infantry and forces from advancing. Touching those does damage you, which makes sense, it would. All right. Let's wipe out everybody at once. Defeated my men, they got caught up in this rust fire. Hey, I use ice uh, power. How often have we seen that work? Uh oh. Some kind of avalanche. What that did, I don't know, but. You come up for me! Hey, maybe this is the quest I didn't do last time, stopping these guys from any getting anywhere near Terramune. Because they just suddenly appear from out of the dark. But I think, in the, I think when I did this off screen, they got to Terramune. I just defeated them before Terramune got in trouble. Oh, the terrible kind of father. I can retire without worry. Now you can shoot me without worry. Maybe you can stop this guy from reaching the gate. You dumbass. Oh, I see. They, these... These guys are angry at him for being 
too uh, familiar with Masamune. Oh, that was a pretty uh, weird kill. See if I can catch up with these guys before they. Oh, Shikizane is there. Let's get more gold. Why not? At least we don't have to worry about when um, Kajuro will die during this story mode because it's his story mode, so presumably he doesn't die until, you know, the last mission. <laughs> I'm gonna start heading for this guy. And I don't know why I bothered with that because. So I didn't really prevent him from getting to the castle. Even when he's impersonating someone else, he calls everyone Bakane. He's not particularly gifted. He isn't exactly Rick's little. Let's come back up here and be ready to go when Masamune is um, done. Oh, never mind. I guess I should have had him moving that way after all. I'm here to offer you so much pain. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas. Your gift is my apology for making that joke. Man, everybody is stuck. It's like Spartacus all of a sudden. I am Terramune. I did get them, didn't I? Oh, that sucks. I got explosions and bombs and all sorts of shit flashing around. It's the only way I will survive this Muso that I'm getting hit with while trying to use all my ladyheads. 
Even controlling the Soma? Is, Ma is Magoichi like a master of mind control power? A lot of guys flipping around here. Oh, apparently we defeated that third boss character while I was dancing around. I hope we got all the loot. We don't want anyone to think that the first and easiest Muso victory of this mode was a fluke. Alright, so. Once again, there was, uh. Whatever this was that I didn't get off camera, I didn't get it this time either, but that's fine. We won. We have defeated the Soma. Clearly, the Date will be victorious forever. Up to level 32 for Kojuro. And the same level for Masamune. There's different levels of Wapit. We got an Ebony Wing Horse. I don't really understand that well how some of this stuff actually works. Like you level them up by combining them, I don't really get how it works to tell you the truth. It's a bit confusing to me, but now we're going to make amends. Or someone will make amends. Possibly not us. Me and the other generics had some general lines about how we don't like you, so... Oh, because this is, this is Kojuro's personal story, so it's focused on what generic officers think of him. Well, I want to usurp your role when my role is so much better. Everybody get crunk, dudes. <laughs> Look at how happy he is in the bottom left there. You know I like it hard, Kajuro. You two generic guys, I don't really need you so much. But you told me to do that. That wasn't my idea. I mean, Shoji Tush must you two guys got nothing for you. But he told you to do it. This is deep, guys. This is real deep. Well, there you go, folks. Um, I'm going to skip past the story stuff. I just want to do a little bit of our uh, mid-mission shopping. So after every mission, you get a chance to buy strategy tomes. It's usually a good idea to purchase them all if you can afford it. And uh, upgrade mounts. I guess when you do the same... Sixteen, twenty-one, eighteen. Yeah, there's some kind of boost you get when they're the same type. But you gotta combine two that aren't already fully leveled up.
I don't remember. I don't know how it works. So I don't know what the bonus chance does, if any. Oh, it gives you a higher level that they can go up to. 17, 21, 18. 16, 21, 18. So it made very little difference. Yeah, I don't know how they, I really don't know how the combining stuff works that well in this game. So you get new weapons and you level them up, they get better, but cost gold, which you kind of need for other things. Ice and range wouldn't be bad at all. Earth and wind would also be good. Well, this one here is... Oh, it's level 10 max. This one goes up to level 20, this one goes up to level 30. Just to clear some space, I suppose. I like the range modifier. Do anything special? Cool. And I'm still sticking with this, which has death. <laughs> Although this one might actually be better now. It's got range, health, muso. Okay, whatever. Wiring skills for these guys. Wealth times three would take away all of my yellow tomes. This whole system is kind of convoluted and I don't feel like explaining it. Um, I think I'll just ignore it. So when we come back next time, we will continue with the uh, Musa story of Kajuro. Uh, Merry Christmas, guys. Catch you next time.